Welcome r slash entitlidparence. I just saw a lady get tasered for trying to snatch a woman's face mask to give her to child. I argued with my husband about whether or not to post this because I'm pretty sure this will make the local news and I didn't want to burn this account just yet. But he won RPS so here we are. Prepare yourself. This story has layers. We were at the dreaded big box store picking up potting soil because we are going to DIY ourselves through the isolation. Things aren't crazy here yet, but there is a 2 per customer limit on a majority of items. I assume this means everything, so we are getting 2 bags each of a few different types of soil. My husband is loading the last of 8 bags on our cart when I hear her. I know it's a Karen just by the level of unnecessary outrage in her voice. Karen, are you kidding me? Not a lot of people out here in the garden center, but we all look to her. I was almost disappointed to see she didn't come with the requisite haircut. She actually looked like a frazzled mom, her kid tugging on her hand and an overfull hand basket of groceries, and I had a moment of girl, I feel you. But damn it, she was pointing at us. Karen, you can't buy that many. You. Ah. Hoarding. My husband. Yeah we can. We are getting to each. Karen. Oh you don't fool me. I know what you're doing. My husband. So do I. Off. I'm just sitting there imagining all the ways I'm gonna rock his world tonight. Well Karen huffed at that, spun around and yanked her kid back inside to go complain to the employee working the register nearby. Now, we already paid for our items, the employee had come out and scanned the bags earlier, and he could easily see our cart from inside. So, being finished, we pushed the cart out of the garden center into the parking lot, and then the automatic doors open behind us, and I hear now they're stealing. Jewish great. We load the soil in the car and turn around to bring the cart back and look at plants. By the time we get back, Karen has given up on trying to convince the employee we are the Bonnie and Clyde of dirt and is now trying to negotiate skipping somebody in line. She has a child, you see, and her hand basket, well it's just so full and heavy. Could she please just scooch right on in here real quick and it'll just be an extra second, she swears. The woman Karen is trying to skip is young, maybe college age, and wearing a face mask. Not a medical mask, but the stretchy kind you'd wear while riding a motorcycle or when you're skiing. My husband has just informed me it's a neck gator. The mask is black and has like scary wolf teeth on it that honestly made the girl look like somebody you should not fuck with, even though she was wearing a Gap t-shirt and flip-flops. Mask girl is just shaking her head no and that's all I got as we dropped off the cart. Eyebrows, pick up a couple plants, and we head inside to wait in line. Now it's show time. Karen and Mask Girl are near the register facing off, no pun intended. From the looks of things, Mask Girl finished her purchase and Karen stopped her before she could leave. I don't know if she grabbed her or anything, but Karen was still holding her full hand basket, so she hadn't checked out yet. Well, she hadn't paid for her groceries yet, because clearly this woman had checked out. Karen, but you don't even need it now, you're leaving. My son could get sick because you won't give it to him and he needs it. Mask girl, hell no, you can't have it. Back off, lady. Karen, but my son really likes it and it's obviously made for boys anyway. Why would you even want to wear something so scary? Mask girl, because I like it and it has my germs on it. Why would you put a stranger's mask on your kid? Karen. Ugh, why are you being so rude? You wouldn't let us go through the checkout first and now you're making my son very upset. Mask girl, your problem, not mine. And then mask girl turns to leave, while Karen manifests the biggest balls ever, and grabs mask girl by the back of her mask. Let me make a side note here. When all of this is going down, we are all just standing in line and watching. The register is still going boop, 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 as the employee scans items, but otherwise we are all just inside this hypnotic bubble. But when Karen reached out towards Mask Girl, it was like the bubble popped and made everything crystal clear. Not slow mo or anything, but I absolutely felt hyper aware. Like Spider-Man. Karen reaches out, people on both sides of me inhale loudly, Karen grabs the mask and yanks 
a lady on my right yells, and my husband steps forward, so getting laid tonight, masked girl tucks her head down, and she turns to Karen like a pissed off bull with a bright and shiny new target. I think Karen was going to say something like, don't walk away from me or something, but all she got out was don't crack, asterisk. I looked around, because the noise was so loud I figured the roof was about to cave in, but out of the corner of my eye I see Karen spasm and drop to the floor writhing. Little Miss Mask Girl had a fucking taser. I dunno when she pulled it out, this tiny little flashlight looking thing, but she laid Karen out with it. And not one of us moved for what felt like forever, like we were frozen. And then it was fucking bedlam. Security guard shows up, more employees show up, mask girl is chilling, like she's been through this before, and knows what comes next. The kid is screaming that the wolf girl killed his mom, even though she's groaning and sobbing on the floor and clearly not dead, but maybe wishing she was. The people that had been in line with us were all talking at once trying to tell the security guard what happened. We hung around just witnessing the insanity for maybe two minutes before Karen started choking out demands for an ambulance, the police, a lawyer, the mayor, restitution, and reparations. My husband made eye contact with an employee and got a thumbs up when he put the plants on a shelf and pointed towards the door. We got the fuck out to there. We drove home in silence until my husband parked the car in our driveway and then we just burst out laughing. Neither of us have ever seen anything like that before. We live in a small beach town. People are super laid back and mellow. Karen was anything but, and I hope to never see her again. Eater, not sure what the awards mean, but I thank you very much. I made this account to tell a story that happened 25 years ago and blew my shot on a Karen instead. Slowly responding to messages, but to answer a couple cues, I can't access security footage. I'm an unreliable narrator in what Karen's body actually did. I wasn't looking directly at her, but she flailed, fell, and squirmed while groaning. I do not know the difference between a taser and a stun gun. Mask girl had what looked like a thin baton flashlight. We have very lax taser laws in this state. Thanks for reading. Take care of yourselves and stay safe. On the other hand, we all learned how to keep our hands to ourselves in kindergarten. As an adult we continue to do so, not only because it's the right thing to do, but also because you never know when a bitch might be armed. Yea honestly with the way women are treated, with this and the hydro flask assault, if someone grabs a girl from behind it is absolutely a justified self-defense move. Especially because although you never just go up and grab someone, legally we have to stay 6 feet apart so anyone within your 6 feet grabbing you is so scary. My mom was telling me the other day about how she was carrying pepper spray just in case when she went to get supplies for her vegetable garden and now y'all got me worried all over again that she might have to use it because if she were in mask girl's position, she would too. Lordy. At least Karen forgot about you stealing dirt in a hurry, right? Taser's better if you can get one. Spray tends to hit everybody in the area including the user. You underestimate the stupidity of some people. Some woman tried to do exactly that to my cousin about 4 years ago. Because she wanted it, and my cousin wouldn't give it to her. We were at a park for a child's birthday party. It was February in Florida and my cousin was just getting over a really bad bronchial infection. It wasn't so cold we couldn't enjoy the park and party, but it was cool enough that breathing, for some, was an issue. She was using her neck gaiter to ease the struggle with breathing in the cool air and keeping her nose warm lol. I have a scarf that looks like crime scene tape. I stopped wearing it because some woman damn near choked me out trying to steal it off my neck. Some people really are just that stupid. I don't know. When the story got to Karen requesting the mask for her kid I thought maybe you were making that part up. I almost hope you are making that part up because I cannot fathom anybody behaving like this. How do these Karens procreate? Who is having sex with these Karens? Is there a male version of Karen? I agree. The dialogue is always so bad with these Karen scenes that it makes it really hard to believe. The dirt part seemed believable. Glad mask girl didn't settle for threatening with the taser. Don't do that. 
it's not good from the perspective of stopping aggressive harassment, and it also makes law enforcement treat it as you didn't feel unsafe enough to go straight for the tasing so why did you bring it out? So remember, if a wild Karen physically attacks, taser first and ask questions later. My mom slashes was a narcissist. My dad was a complete pushover and had a victim complex. An example of what she was like, a couple of day before Christmas she went to the mall to go shopping. It was packed, so they had police officers directing people to filling up certain lots before they started allowing people into other lots. She wanted to go into an empty lot cause she feels she is entitled to that and the officer motions to her no and points to where she should go. She she drove into him. It wasn't very fast and he was able to get out of the way so he didn't get run over. Then she just went and parked like nothing happened. As she was about to get out of the car she had a gun pulled on her and she was arrested. I talked to her on the phone from jail and all she could say was I can't believe this happened to me.